What is up everybody? I'm taking a little ride on my Yamaha C3 scooter and I'm doing a little testing with my GoPro 9. I've got the media mod on and I've also got an external microphone. The purple panda is inside my helmet. So I'm just taking a test. I want to see how the microphone sounds. Now I also have a Polar Pro ND filter on and ND8. So it's about 8 p.m. at night. The sun's still up. I'm at 1080 60 with 240 frames per second. So I just wanted to see what the colors look like. What do the things look like as I pass them by? So I'm really just looking at a number of different things, just trying to dial in this GoPro 9, get it to where the, the wind isn't affecting my voice. Now I will say that the GoPro Media Mod without an external mic does a really good job with just the rear microphone on. It did surprisingly well, and I'll do a test on that one as well. But for now, let's see what this purple panda can do. We'll just take some back roads home. These are East Tennessee back roads. So the wind is moving pretty good here. I'm just testing one, two, three. I'm just talking normal, so definitely some wind right here. Uh, hopefully I don't get smashed on this road. Let's go visor down. So my visor is down. I'm testing three, two, one. We should hit some speed on this hill. There's 48 mile an hour. This C3 loves downhill. It's a beast. Check out this little thing. All right, let's go visor up in three, two, one. That wind feels good. Now this road typically is not one you want to get on a two lane with a scooter. I try to stay on four lanes, but maybe people can get around me so I could very well piss somebody off on a smaller road like this. But it's a nice country road and hopefully the greens of the trees and I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna go, let's go through this neighborhood. There's some really nice houses up here. I wanna show you guys something. This is kind of random. This is Cascade Falls. I was a pizza delivery guy, so I've been in every subdivision known to man in Knoxville. I've lived in Northeast, South, and West, and there's some really nice houses right through here. It's crazy because Knoxville, you'll have, you'll have houses like this and then 
less than a mile away like some junkers, you know, a trailer park. But if I'm not mistaken, there's a giant waterfall. Check that out. Probably wouldn't be the worst place to come lay out or just read a book. There's some dude up to something over there. Yeah, there's some nice houses in here. They tip really well too. I mean, sometimes you actually come to subdivisions where there's nicer houses and the people there are great. They tip you like over the top. I mean, it really goes with the uh, um, lay, of, lay of the land, I guess. And then when you kind of get, like I really like this house. When you get kind of above this level, like I'll take you guys down another time to some other neighborhoods where are like really like the houses are five times the size of this one and they'll order a hundred dollars worth of pizza and give you like a two dollar tip i mean it's ridiculous some of these places how they tip how nice they are but it is what it is but knoxville does have some nice neighborhoods it's suburbia you know it's basically just a little bit of country and then there's suburbs you know just like tons of houses and neighborhoods and subdivisions But I will say, since I've got the scooter, now it's riding a motorcycle. I mean, I kind of want to upgrade into a 125cc, something with some juice, and not necessarily something that I want a lot of storage on. Just if I want to go visit my friend in North Carolina, I can just haul ass over there, you know, and kind of legit. All right, I'm gonna get off of this road before I make anyone mad. Although this one could be the same. But I will say that riding the scooter, I'm at a moderate speed, the wind, the vitamin D, it just feels amazing. I mean, I'm saving gas on this thing and uh, East Tennessee's not too bad for running the roads, I guess. It's a beautiful country. Seven mile an hour taketh away and giveth right back and now we should hit some serious speed Ooh, 49 3 49 6 time to hit the brake I will say one thing about Knoxville, and it may be this way everywhere, but I can leave my house and go any which direction and end up kind of where I need to be. So there's kind of a back road or a side road. There's kind of a way to get somewhere if you're not on a car. So I've been able to travel everywhere on this scooter. Yeah, I go a little bit out of my way sometimes, but I save so much on gas that it really it neutralizes that problem. Now, if I could deliver pizzas on this thing, man, I'm blowing this. We don't stop for stop signs on the C3. Just kidding. Just not that one. So now, let's show you guys. This is kind of a hoodie area. I'll show you guys this place. This is called Nature's Trail Boulevard. And for some reason, man, getting a tip here is, well, just doesn't happen. 
they complain a lot just overall shitty place to deliver so let's see what these places look like so these are just little little buildings And yeah, you drive, you know, you deliver here at night. Sometimes it's sketch. People are just like kind of hanging out in the parking lot and shit. So yeah, I'll show you another set right here. This whole little divide. Of course, I'm not saying it's all bad because I have gotten tipped here. But eight out of ten times you'll get hassled here for some reason. It's just not a good tipping area. I'll show you these little places. <laughs> so these little apartments i think they're little efficiencies and i mean i wouldn't even mind living in you know little places like this that are close to town but just the people here man you get all there's just all types right through here and i like all types i mean i grew up a military brat i mean all my friends growing up were every freaking color and shape size nationality you could think of which I love because you learn a lot from people here. You know? Different foods and music and just ways of thinking, man. I think that's why I like YouTube so much because you can explore. I was looking at some GoPro 9 footage and just people, you know, this guy was cruising around in India on his bike and just looking at the streets and uh, just the way everything was different. I, I just really like that. Some people, you know, they want everything to be the same or like, I just don't know. I, I've never been that type of person. I really like variety and spice. But these places, you know, nothing against the people that live here. It's just talking about tipping delivery wise. It's shit. There's another massive trailer park right up here. So yeah, ooh, there's some horses. You got horses and fucking donkeys and sh you kind of depending which way you roll man you don't know what you're gonna see here in east tennessee but in all fairness there is some beautiful country and you know and nature and things like that so if you're willing to get out knoxville does have some things to offer which hopefully i can show some of those things on the on my c3 and my gopro and hopefully you guys can hear me. I'll be curious to see, just the, I'm talking normal, just talking normal, so. I haven't had too heavy, heavy wind, but. But I think when you have lots of hills and curves, it just makes driving fun. It just makes being on the bike. I'm only probably 40 minutes from the Dragon. I should tote this fucker up there and drive it down. It really would, dude, I probably would love that. People behind me probably be pissed. Maybe I could get a shot of me. Maybe Killboy could get a shot of me cruising down. All right, let's got to go max speed here. Full throttle. We've got downhill. I've got a curve down here, so I don't know if I want to G-turn this mother. But I think we can get 45. There's 45, 46. 47 uh, No brake Feels so good. The wind, woo! Yes, sir. 